All believers are Orthodox Christians who adhere to old Christian rites. After the religious reform, during the reign of Tsar Romanov, some Christians refused to obey the new rules. Subsequently, they began to be called the old believers. Old belief was widespread in Siberia. In 1978, geologists in the forest area of the Abokan Ridge of the Western Cyan Mountains, not far from the tributary of the Abokan River. A human dwelling was discovered. The ugly one-window hut belonged to the Likov family of old believers. Completely isolated from society, hermits spent more than 40 years in self-imposed exile. The Likov's hermitage was actively discussed in the press. After discovering the hermits, journalists and travelers became frequent guests. Soon, one by one, all members of the family died from viruses and infections. Until 1936, the future parents of Agafya, Karp and Akulina Likov lived in the small village of Tishi in the upper reaches. The river Bolshoi Bokum. When collectivization reached these places, a calm, measured life ended overnight. The Likovs decided to leave for the Scientega. The head of the family, Karp Likov, made the difficult decision to move under the influence of negative events. What happened in the village, a brother was killed by law enforcement officials. The father of the family, Evdekim, the community of old believers was ruined. At the time, the young old believers had two small children in their arms, nine-year-old Savin and two-year-old Natalia. Undaunted by the difficulties, the family made a quick escape into the deep Tiger. In 1945, the Lykov's hut was accidentally discovered by border guards looking for fugitive deserters. An unexpected event became the reason for the Lykov's next move deeper into the Tega. At the time of discovery by geologists, the family was in full force. Despite hunger, numerous difficulties and hardships, the Lykov's managed to save all the children. In a hungry 1961 Akulina died of exhaustion. The woman starved herself, giving food to the children. In 1978, the eldest Likov was 73 years old, Savin 53, Natalia 44, the Tri 40. Agafya Likova was the youngest in the family and the smartest. Despite the seclusion, the Likovs were not dark and illiterate. Akulina taught her children to read and write in the old Russian language. The family of the old believers had liturgical books and icons. Wild Siberian nature is not very suitable for the life of the average person. The Lykov's dwelling was located at a height of about two meters from the mountainside, not far from the tributary of the Abokan River. The nearest civilized settlement was more than 250 kilometers from this place. Life in the Tega was not easy, the Lykovs were constantly fighting for survival. They cleared an area in front of the house, where they planted a vegetable garden. Potatoes, turnips and fresh vegetables helped to dilute the meager diet of Tega hermits. When the tribe grew up, he learned to hunt, set snares and make trapping holes. The Lykov stopped starving when fresh meat appeared in the diet. Inside the hut there was only one room, damp and smoky, with a low ceiling. Initially, when meeting with Agafya Lykova, geologists considered her mentally retarded. The woman was chanting, stretching out simple words and turning them into polysyllabic ones. They were wrong. Agafya was not to be occupied with intelligence and ingenuity. There was no calendar or clock in the Lykov's hut. Hermits lived, obeyed the natural course of time. We got up at dawn, went to bed at dusk. Agafya kept track of the time in the family for many years. In the fall of 1981, Savin and Natalia suddenly died of renal failure. A harsh diet of many years has severely undermined the health of hermits. In the same year, Detroit died of pneumonia. The poor man accepted death stoically, refusing to be transported to the hospital to the last. The fact that Agafya Lykova lives with her elderly father in a moldy hut, unsuitable for habitation. Learned the inhabitants of the nearby village. Compassionate villagers offered the hermits to move to the village, offered a house, fresh food. The Lykovs repaired the hut, but flatly refused to leave their homes. In 1988 Karplikov died. 
Agafi buried her father next to the rest of the Lykovs, not far from the hut, on the slope of the mountain. Loneliness did not frighten the hermit. The Lord will give, and I will live, she told the geologists. After the death of her father, 45-year-old Agafya Lykova made an attempt to arrange her personal life. Her husband was a fellow believer living in Abaza, Ivan Vasilievich Tropin. The man was Lykova's relative in the seventh generation. Agafya's family life did not work out, since the spouses did not agree on characters. In 1990, the envoys of the Metropolitan of Moscow Olympi visited the Lykova hut. They told the woman about the Old Believer Women's Monastery, located in the Upper Chechirlik. After the rite of baptism, Agafya Lykova moved to a monastery. She lived in the monastery for a couple of months. The nuns said that Lykova's health within the walls of the monastery had deteriorated. At the end of the summer, Lykova returned to her native Tega. Geologist Eurofi Sadov has known the Likov family since 1979. The man lived almost all his life in Abaza. It was he who participated in the expedition that discovered the hermit family. In old age, he lost one leg. In 1997 he moved to the Tega, where he built a small hut 50 meters from Agafya's house. Despite the close proximity, the elderly people hardly communicated with each other. Nevertheless, rare communication with Eurofi brightened up the harsh life of a Tega hermit. Unlike Agafya, Eurofi sometimes left the Tega and visited his relatives. In 2015, Agafya's only neighbor died at the age of 77. Now the hermit lives in complete solitude. In recent years, Agafya Lykova began to suffer from severe pain in her legs. In 2016, my legs refused, self-medication did not help. The hermit, worn out by pain, asked for help on a satellite phone given to her by the rescuers. When the helicopter arrived, the woman was urgently hospitalized at the Tashtago Regional Hospital. Agafya Lykova took with her only icons, water and a bag of crackers. An unusual patient was assigned a separate room. In addition, doctors discovered a benign tumor on the woman's right breast, which gradually increases in size. An operation may be required soon. Agafya Lykova spent a week in the hospital. After being discharged, she was safely delivered home to her native settlement. Everyone knows that the famous hermit lives in the Tega alone. The elderly woman was repeatedly asked to change her place of residence. She was offered an apartment, real estate, but the woman stubbornly refuses to interrupt the hermitage. According to the latest information, Agafya Lykova still lives in the Tega. In 2018, the woman got in touch by phone. She reported that she had run out of food and had absolutely nothing to eat. The governor of the Kemerovo region Sergei Sivilov visited the famous hermit. He brought food to the Tega and a doctor who examined the 74-year-old woman. I ask you to share these videos in your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. Please go and watch other videos about Agafya Lykova, which you see now on the screen in the end screen savers. There are a lot of rare and interesting facts about the hermit. Thank you all for watching.